Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. In today's video, we're going to be tackling a problem that's fairly common. This actually came from an Upwork post. Somebody was looking at gym memberships, wanted to know how many active memberships there were. They got a list of clients. They got the entry date and the exit date. I couldn't replicate the data, so actually I created my own data set. If you look over here, you have your bunch of employees, their start date, their end date. This could be uh, clients. I was thinking of employees that were charging to a particular project, but whatever you've got. So I'm gonna move the start just so it's a little bit easier. And then I created a bar chart based on the start month. And this is what you end up with. And that's not what you want at all, right? You want these guys that have started in January to show as active until they're no longer, until their end date. So what you need to do for this is you need to actually add some data densification. I know that sounds pretty crazy. I'm gonna go to the data source. I already have created a file here. It's called data densification and it's by month. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. It's just, just a column that has the first day of the month. This actually goes out a couple years. You could go, I've done it before where it goes out, you know, 30 or 40 years. I wish there was a little more elegant solution and if somebody knows it, please leave it in the comments. So I'm gonna do a data blend here. And as you remember, this doesn't have any of the same columns this employee count does. But the way we get around that is we're going to create a calculated field of one and one. Oops. And one. So what this means is for every employee, it's going to link, they're going to have one of these values all the way out. So I'm going to grab an employee and I'm going to bring the date over. All right, well, we'll put the date over here and we're going to change this to an exact date. So discrete. And so you see that this employee is gonna have a record for every month in that Excel file. Now, because it is a data blend, or this is a logistical join, sorry, Tableau knows when to incorporate that level of detail. So if you're just using things that have from the employee count, you're not gonna end up with I don't know how many it is, 60 records it looks like. But when you bring over the date, then there will be a record for each employee. And that's how you're gonna be able to get the, what you want. So I'm gonna now duplicate this. And I'm going to bring over the date. I'm gonna replace the existing one. I'm gonna change this to, this is a little messy. I'm gonna change this to month, get rid of that. And now see here it goes, it says, okay, in January or whatever date this is, January, 2021, we have 17 employees. And they have that all the way through because we said for every employee, we're going to match the date. So now what we need to do is we just need to put in a filter that's going to say that it, the employee is active or not. And so the way we're gonna do this is gonna do a create a calculated field. Just call this active. I'm gonna use an if then statement and I'm going to try and truncate on the date. That way, if there is an employee that starts midway, you know, starts on the second and ends on, quits on the 15th, they're still active for that month. Okay, so we have your if then, so we're looking at the start date. The start date needs to be less than or equal to the date, and that's the different months. And then the end date, oh, I got these wrong. Let's see here, it has to be greater than. So you want your end date to be greater than the current month. And if it is, it'll be active. And so let's just put the active on the color to see what happens. 
and you can see active and inactive. And we're going to actually just switch this around so it's a little bit easier to read. And now let's bring that to our dashboard. We're not going to we're going to get rid of this, but we're going to bring over this one here. And actually, I'm already worried about this. This is not going to be correct because we have several that should still be active even after May 1st of 2022. And the reason we don't is because of these nulls. And when you have a null, it screws things up and the, the, it returns null. So we need to edit it, edit that formula. So we're gonna add another condition here, another else if. Okay, you don't actually have to add the equals true here, but I like to do that to just be very explicit. So now we're saying, okay, if they has a start date, it has to have, the employee has to have a start date. If they have a start date, but there's no end date, then that means they're still active. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna press apply and we should see its impact already. Okay, there we go. That is more of what we were expect, I was expecting to see. So we should have, six employees way out here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how you get the active employees when all you have is a start date and an end date. I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.